<clears throat> hey, this is Jordan from One Feather Cigars, and I have another cigar that we can review. <clears throat> this one has come highly recommended. Um, this one is the Padilla Habano Toro. Yeah, it's a beaut, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, this is a six inch stick and it has a 54 ring gauge and I've heard it is just a pleasure to smoke. So, um, when we first uh, look at this, I mean, I, I just know it's got a nice oily wrapper. It's not too veiny, moist. It's got a nice little spring to it in the wrapper. Um, smells kind of spicy yet sweet at the same time which I'm just dying to get in there and really try it out and 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 all of this but I, I don't comment on this too much but for some reason the the cigar band on this particular stick is just like calling out to me it's like Jordan smoke me so <laughs> um, why don't we cut off the cap and let's uh, get down to the good stuff here all right all right Well, we've got her lighted up on the initial light up and puff. It's kind of mild. <clears throat> it was touted as being a more, more of a medium bodied cigar. It's kind of mild. It's got a hint of spice to it. <clears throat> Let's let it get burning and then we'll really dig into it and see, see how it goes. Huh? Well, we are a few minutes into it. It uh, seems to be growing, you know, a little bit more full-bodied with each puff. Uh, it's taken on a, a woody taste with a little bit of a hint of pepper, um, and it's it's actually quite good. Uh, I'm really waiting to see what happens in the next couple of minutes. Well, we are about 10 minutes into the cigar. Um, it's burning pretty evenly, even with all the wind I have out here on my front porch. Imagine that, outside wind. <laughs> um, she is a, a good smoke. I mean, it's very smooth. It's got a good draw. Um, I, I'm really, uh, there's nothing wrong with this cigar right now, and I'm very pleased. I'm just really looking forward to still digging into it. Well, here it is. It's still burning. Wonderful. The draw is still immaculate, and it is just awesome to be smoking it. Uh, the as far as the taste is, it's still woody. The spiciness has kind of died down a little bit. Um, it's kind of picked up a, almost a vanilla undertone. It's not too strong, it's a very faint hint. Um, it might be my personal taste buds, but it's there and it, it is grand. I mean, and, and it's just, it, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, my girlfriend would probably be jealous of me right now, but I'm just singing its praises all the way through. So let's get on to these next two thirds. Well, we're coming up about halfway through this stick. Still very impressed. Um, the the woody taste has kind of died away a little bit, mellowed out, uh, and uh, more nutty flavors taking its place. Uh, and the vanilla undertone I mentioned earlier has kind of faded away. I don't know if I hit the sweet spot to the stick or whatnot, but um, that's kind of moved along. And uh, I'm enjoying this nutty flavor. It's delicious. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to get me a box of these because I don't think I've had one that I was this impressed with in a long time. Oh, well, we've been at it for about 25 minutes now. Coming up, it's still got a very good even burn and I'm still enjoying it. <clears throat> Construction is still holding up. Um, well, I just want to brag about it, that's all. I'm trying to think of some technical aspects for you, but this baby is just delicious. Well, we are coming to the end of our stick. It's starting to burn a little hot, but that's all right, because sometimes they do that. It was a pleasure to smoke. It was delicious. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. Again, this is the Patia Habano Toro. A wonderful stick, good smoke, and I suggest that if you haven't had one yet, you go out and you get yourself one smoke it up and let me know how it goes again this is jordan from one feather cigars if you like what you saw like it share it subscribe thank you